I've still got some metal fastenings on the jump smock which need to be bordered with a mixture of burnt umber and black. What I should do is actually paint these studs totally using this dark mixture and this will act as a good background for painting the metal colour over the top. Painting them first in a dark colour, it's actually in effect like outlining and detailing each stud but without the difficulty of actually painting the inside and outside detail because there's a, sort of a ring within a ring. You can see now that the painting these proper studs first with a dark colour is uh, a good way of accentuating the shape. So you've got a shadow in the middle and around the outside all in one step. Rather than painting them silver and then painting a black dot in the centre and painting a, a neat line around the outside, it's just done it in one hit straight away. And it's uh, pretty much the same technique as dry brushing. It is like a controlled dry brushing, but possibly a little bit neater. Now, the runes, the SS runes on the collar, as they're embroidered, what I'll do is put a base colour of gunmetal on first. I'm doing lines like this because they were embroidered with thread. So I'll just do that as a base colour. At the same time I'm doing this, I'm going to paint the roll neck jumper which is a dark grey colour. Not forgetting the inside where it disappears in to meet the neck. Uh, there are a lot of details to think of at this stage. What I'm uh, going to do is to paint the belt buckle in a black mixed with a little bit of the silver and then I shall use a combination of dry brushing and brushwork to bring out the details of the eagle. And just drag it lightly just dust it very lightly over the top. I'm just going to dry brush the boots with a mixture of sandy brown and burnt umber which will bring out most of the details of the laces, some of the other highlights. Just needs a light passes over so you can see most of the laces seem to appear as if I'm magic. A tiny drop of silver and some white to make a metallic grey colour. It will give you an uh, impression of an embroidered SS rune. I'm going to use a white and black and make a medium sort of grey. So with a combination of the moulded detail and careful brushwork, it should look uh, quite like a, an embroidered Lofofa eagle. So I'm going to use some white and a little drop of brown just to make it an off-white. And there's some stitching to add on the equipment on the various straps. Actually just dry brushing over the top to leave the, the moulded stitching where it was designed to be. 